budget speech today, but we also can't ignore the fact that we now have an election date as well. And there is uh, lines being drawn between the two, especially uh, by lecturer at Northwest University, Tabang Motswaledi, says that with elections around the corner, the finance minister, Enoch Gordon-Guana's budget speech is going to be a very interesting one. When you look at the status of the economy in South Africa currently, um, you know that consumers are already struggling. You look at the motorists, you look at the industry in itself, as or the economy uh, entirely, you can see that people are already going through a difficult time. So it will be very, very difficult for um, for the minister to resort to increasing taxes or the levies, uh, like you mentioned, earlier, as far as petrol is concerned, because that is where most of the people are actually filling the branch. But what we can expect is that um, definitely he has to source the money from somewhere. Where, where is it going to come from? That remains the big question. And you are very much correct, particularly because it's a political year. Elections are just around the corner, so um, it is going to be very interesting. If you remember last year during the um, medium-term budget, uh, the minister did make mention to say that we're going to have to start thinking about doing away with certain um, state-owned entities because this is where some of or a large sum of the budget is actually have been going for a very uh, long period of time. But when you look at um, what the government has been getting in, in return, this has been very little. So I would say that if you were to ask me if I were to become the finance minister tomorrow, obviously you would need to balance the equation in as far as what the economy needs, as well as looking at what is happening in the globe in as far as um, the, the economic dynamics of the world, what is changing, what is it that we need for us to also be a competing or a compatible economy in the global system.